All right, I'm just making this video of uh, Jurassic Park. I'm shopping this game out and uh, I noticed on this upper switch here, it's been replaced, um, but they didn't put a diode on it. So, you know, switches typically work okay without the diodes, except there are some exceptions here. And this is why you always have to have a diode on it. So let's say I, you know, I activate it, it always says, you know, right ramp exit, right ramp exit, no problem, right? And if you're just playing one ball, you know, usually that'll be the case. But for example, I'm gonna activate these three targets here. So let's say you got a multi-ball situation going on. And I hit the first spitter, it works fine. Hit the second one, it works fine. If you hit the third one, it works fine. Okay, now if I hold in, um, no, I can't do this. Uh, let me show you this here. I'm actually going to hold in, switch two, and then activate this, this and it works fine. I'm gonna hold in switch three and activate it, and you see left scoop. And all I'm doing is I'm activating the right ramp exit, but I'm holding in switch three. And the computer, because of the diode being missing, is confused as to which switch is being activated. And, um, and that actually activated the left scoop switch while I was holding that in and activating the, uh, the right ramp exit. So that's why you gotta have diodes on all your switches because it just confuses the game and it'll it'll give you phantom uh, switch closures. Okay.